What's up everybody, welcome to my video. So today we're going to be talking about this really annoying computer error that I had to troubleshoot last year on one of my uh, computers. And uh, it's very, very ambiguous error because it could pretty much mean anything. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to fix this issue that have worked for me in the past. And we're also going to be talking about, you know, what causes this error to appear. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about the error real quick as what causes this message to appear on your computer screen and from my experience basically means that your uh, your computer whether it's like a PC or a laptop is not able to communicate with the hard drive on your system and is not able to load you into Windows that's pretty much what this means and a lot of people assume that you know just because it says a disk read error that you know that their hard drive has either gone bad and they either try to format their hard drive which is a really really bad solution and uh, or they go out to a store and buy a replacement hard drive only to find out that this error is still coming up on their screen so just because it says a disk error has occurred doesn't mean that your hard drive has gone bad alright guys so now let's talk about solutions uh, these are some of the solutions that I've actually tried in the past that I've worked the very first one is making sure that you uh, clean the inside of your computer, whether it's your laptop or a desktop. And you know, using you know a can of compressed air works really, really well because what happens is that you know over the span of you know a couple of years, your computer starts to accumulate a lot of dust on the inside, which basically clogs up you know the vents. It also can you know can clog up the uh, uh, the fan on your processor and makes the computer really hot and the number one enemy of a computer is basically heat you know I don't know if you guys have ever tried to use a computer that is running really hot you know it's really really sluggish really slow and sometimes it can cause the hardware to you know start to fail and that's why you know you start getting this error message you know a disk free error has occurred so number one make sure that uh, before anything you clean the inside of your computer with, you know, a can of compressed air, uh, making sure that you clean up, you know, clean out all the vents and just, you know, clean it of dust in general. All right, guys, moving on to solution number two, um, and that is checking your hard drive cables to make sure that they haven't gone bad and also checking the port on your motherboard to make sure it hasn't gone bad either and uh, this is what worked for me last year when I was getting this you know annoying error messages uh, I had a bad motherboard port on my uh, PC and when I moved the hard drive cable to a different port uh, my computer booted up normally so my solution was actually uh, pretty easy it was an easy fix for me and uh, so yeah solution number two you know check your hard drive cables uh, check the port on your motherboard you know, because just because you get this uh, discrete error message doesn't mean that your hard drive is bad, guys. It could be, you know, like I said, bad cables, a bad port, uh, or maybe you have loose cables on the inside of your computer. All right, guys. Last but not least, uh, solution number three is resetting your BIOS to factory defaults. And uh, this basically depends on your computer. Um, once your computer is loading up, you either have to press delete or F2 to enter the BIOS and then once you're in BIOS you have the option to load factory defaults and then you basically have to hit F10 to save and then from there you reboot your computer and hopefully uh, this does solve the issue with you know the disk free error has occurred and uh, based on my research and, and uh, what I've seen on forums this is one of the easier solutions that has worked for some people and hopefully it'll work for you Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. And uh, hopefully this does help you resolve, you know, this really annoying issue. But if it doesn't, um, I'm going to leave a really awesome article that I found about this, you know, annoying error message that has even uh, more solutions that you can try uh, to resolve this issue. So I'm going to leave it in the comments below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.